Welcome, crossing the streams here on the mighty loading ready run, the one and only. Mm. Hello, bonjour. We have today Ian. Wait, it's which direction your is boy. Yeah, Nelson. Except no substitutes. Your friendly neighborhood coriander and Matt. Hello, if you're a Canadian citizen, please vote in the current election. Today's that won't show. Age this at all. <laughs> today's show, like many, many others, is brought to you by yourselves out there in internet land through donations to our Patreon or support here at Twitch or even the YouTubes. How's it going, YouTube? Hey. We see you. We see you. Hmm. Mm. We're watching you watch us. Ian is watching me, watching you. <laughs> yeah. Contributory. So today we're playing a game that is a tabletop game, but it's the digital version of a tabletop game called Yellow and Yangtze, which, if you're a big fan of rivers like me, you'll recognize as the name of two rivers. <laughs> and that's, that's about how much information I had uh, when I volunteered to play this. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that the game is a little more complicated than there's just two rivers. So mm -hmm. uh, the four of us will be uh, competing for dominance in the area of statecraft. We will be placing hex tiles on a board in order to maintain a balance within our own selves and the world. Uh, do you want to go to the game view, Paul? So, on our turns, we each get to play two things, or do two actions. Uh, we have leaders, which have to be placed next to one of the black things that you can see. The governor tiles. Yeah. Uh, and then we can place units of that color in the state that that is attached to. So we have, uh, what do we got here? We've got uh, military, we've got, it takes a long time for the pop-up to pop. Farmers, traders, and artisans, as well as government. Uh, those are the colors that we will be balancing. They give us a variety of different abilities and ways that they can be used. But I think we can actually just start off and try to talk through it as we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to look at my pool to make my decisions because I am limited by what is in my hand. I think we each get a hand, like a full hand of six tiles, and then mm -hmm. that we draw from a common pool. So over on the, the bottom right of the screen is the total number of tiles left in the pool, and the game ends when that is over. And at the end, we will compare all of our various unit scores, and the winner will have the highest lowest score. Highest lowest. <laughs> highest lowest score. <sighs> so amongst our pools, the lowest score is what counts for us. And then money gets added to that. Mm -hmm. So we, we have no way of knowing who's going to win until the end. Unless it's very obvious. Thank goodness we have a computer machine to do all the difficult math for us. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> While yeah, we're thanking even... things, let's also <laughs> thank that incredible intro track, track for CTS. Gets me every time. Mm -hmm. Just had shivers listening to the beginning of the stream. Sorry, Corey, I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh, on my end, it uh, sounded doubled. So it was yeah, slightly, same. there was a bit of a delay, and it was a, it was a gnarlier, crunchier rendition. Uh, than the smooth bleep bloops that I'm used to. That, the that, double funk. That was uh, partially my fault. All right. <laughs> uh, so. uh, just, just for people at home, uh, you may notice that the players are covering part of the window. That is intentional. Um, we are currently looking at Ian's gameplay, but uh, the hope is that... Um, so the, the players are covering the parts of Ian's interface that are actually secret information. 
So mm -hmm. none of us take advantage of secret information, like what's okay. in Ian's hand. So you at home are Oops. playing along with the other <laughs> players. Uh, you don't know that secret information either. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm playing the, the ox, the bull. I've just placed my, my red leader, my soldier leader, my military leader mm -hmm. down. Uh, so I can now place my soldiers around that state. And it's that is my turn. Boy. Because I've done mm -hmm. two things. I already have to go, uh, and I've got to. I've got to pick a place. Hmm. Are you going to start a war? I don't even know how starting war works, but uh, no, no, I'm not <laughs> going to. I'm going to try to be peaceful and kind. I wish to place my. Uh, what kind of leader is this? The black one. Governor. Go Governor leader, right? Uh, and then I'll place a tile as well, mm -hmm. right there. I I feel like that I want to be uh, peaceful and kind uh, might be edited together with some point later in this particular stream for a highlight reel. <laughs> oh, yeah. Welcome to the highlights. Okay. Welcome to the highlight reel, yeah. I got my trader. That's, um, they trade goods. They don't... Um, They're not a trader to the cause. They, yeah. Okay. They do actually they... let you pick another tile from the pool. Are there accents, are there like dialects in English where you can say the words traitor and, and traitor and sound, make them sound different? Because in like, you know, Victoria English, like in Canadian English in general, I think it's impossible. I, I, don't I, know can, I can hear a very British, like, traitor? Traitor! Yeah, very, yeah, traitor! You like, use the, you'd like to emphasize the last O, oh, then you get traitor. Mm. Traitor. So a strong. Traitor. So strong bad. to your kind. All right, it's good. Homestar Runner can call someone out for being a traitor. Okay. Yes. I traitor. Cent I noted Centauri Ambassador Strong Bad. I have never heard uh, the the accent that we speak here vic called Victorian English, and yeah, I realize that is actually correct, but also sounds yep. great. I like it. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it's is my turn. It now. is your turn. Let's zoom back out so I can get a good view of what's going on here. Get that good view. Uh, boy, I want to, I want to make some things. Are you so gonna... unless Ian wants to cause a big mess right at the beginning, uh, he he has access to like, we've all been very nice keeping our distance from each other, but on say like my territory or the state that I've occupied with the red, he could put any other color leader with no issue, and then he controls that color in that state. Yeah. Uh, but if he wants to put the red leader there, then we have to fight. There'll be a... Well, that'll be an uprising. A revolt. Okay, let's see here. The peasants gonna, are revolting. I'm going to uh, put down my artisan leader, which means I'm going to get one uh, gold point when it's... Uh, when any uh, artisan tile is placed within my leader's state. Um, as we said before, those uh, gold coins will get awarded after the uh, end of the game to boost up our various low scores. Wow, all the time. So let's throw that down there. And I mean, there's no reason not to. Let's uh, let's start making things tradey. Mm -hmm. So uh, in order to cause a war, you make the states touch. Yeah. There's a lot of space right now, and it it's nice to have such a large space to build within, with, with no neighbors. I feel very, very free uh, down here. I think I'm also going to put down... Before, before we started, I was like, so it's like Ticket to Ride, where if everyone just leaves each other alone, you know, you can just kind of build, but then at some point... Somebody's gonna mess somebody else's somebody else's system up, and it's all gonna fall apart. Yeah. Yeah. Because like you can take over leadership of the state, you can cause a war to destroy buildings. If you get three of a color clustered, you'll, you'll make a pagoda, but there can only be two pagodas of a color on the map. So if you build a pagoda, it destroys someone else's. Yeah. I and think... you get to pick. You get to pick which one you want to see gone. <laughs> Oh, is no, gold the is gold the only color where there's only one pagoda at a time? I think so. Yeah. This is oh, a game geez. of exceptions. Yeah. That's 
we're looks like we're gearing up to a war, maybe. Exceptions make the rule. Speaking of oh. pagodas. Oh, oh snap. Time. But what if I want that? And now I get one green point per turn as long as I control that pagoda. Mm hmm. Which is why I want to destroy it. Too bad. Yeah, I feel like it's a good idea to start getting things going down here. That's the farmer uh, person. Okay. Got one and now I have a point in both coin and, uh, well, I want to say funeral rice. <laughs> is that because of the chopsticks? Yeah, yeah. The icon they chose for for farmer is a is a bowl of rice with the chopsticks jammed in, like you would only do for a funeral. Mm -hmm. Or I guess Panda Express. I mean, it's I think, although Panda Express is kind of like a is kind of like a funeral for Chinese food. All right. I mean, usually it's not a funeral for rice. It's <laughs> the rice is for the funeral, but yes, yeah, it yes. can work either way. If you eat it, then yeah, it is a funeral for rice. So I couldn't quite reach the water. You can only put the blue people in the water. That's what makes them blue. It's where they get the blue coloring from. <laughs> oh, war. War's gearing up. Ooh. One thing we haven't we, mentioned we is warring. that you, you can take a turn to move or remove a governor. Um, I have no uh, personal reason to do so at this junction, but that is something you can do. Mm-hmm. They give you, like, bonuses and some conflicts, but who has time for that? Is is the map bigger than what we're seeing here? Like, is there, is this like, is there, like, fog of war that will go away once you get close to it? Or is no. this there? No. Nah. The, the, the edges of the map, as you can see me trace here with the mouse pointer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This that hard it. line is it. And so, uh, uh, looks like the Nelson made a pagoda up from the top left there. Mm -hmm. I did. Yep. Behold the glory of my gubernatorial pagoda. Yeah. Sup, goober. <laughs> Goobernor Nelly. If you're watching from California, please vote. I know it's boring, but please vote. Pick procedural points. Ah, uh, what do we want to do here? What do we want to do here? Have fun and make friends. Big fat stacks of procedure, yeah. So aggressive, oh, Ian. Sure. <laughs> One special thing about the blue tiles, the building tiles, is that um, in one action, if you have multiple to play, then you can play them each adjacent to each other. So you can kind of chain a couple in one turn. But that's only if you have them all in hand. Mm -hmm. Or as I like to describe in the pre-stream uh, meeting, uh, the Fisher people have Storm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We all understood that. Yeah, everyone got it. Everyone got it. Because, you know, it's because there's storms out in the ocean sometimes. Sometimes. Rude, Ian. Rude. Well, you could I cause a war. Right down the river. You could cause a war if you want. I could if I want. But why would you? I, if I like those two states touch, then the only thing that would be up for grabs in the war is the blue governor governors. Because the other ones don't match color, it's not an issue. Yep. I I like the, the diplomacy that's uh, being shown here. You can have a war if you want. You want to have a war? We can have a war if you want. <laughs> okay, real quick, I have a rules question. So we, we've got, it's kind of like an important part of the opening of the game where we all place our leader 
tokens or tiles. Yep. You can move have them. To, you can move them during the game? You yep, can put nice. them back in your pool, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. And you, move you them can around the board. That you wasn't even my question, but that's good to know. <laughs> you can try to put them on the same state that someone already occupies, but that'll cost you. Well, like, you just have to fight over the tile space, right? Yeah. Does it cost you yeah. something else? Okay, yeah. It yeah, costs no. you uh, the, the government officials. Yeah. Okay, so... Your, your black right. tiles, I think. Okay, so my question was going to be like, okay, so up in the corner where I have this gubernatorial pagoda we talked about. Yep. Yeah. Can I put a leader next to any of those tiles, or can I only put it next to the one that was originally on the board? Any. Original one. Have to put it any. Is it any? Any, any government tile. I mean, it, it, right. It'll either let you or not. Yeah, so it's like the black, yeah. So my question was just like whether the black, like, extra tiles, the black normal tiles count as places where you can put new leaders. So that's good to know. Thank you. My understanding is that, yeah, the a pagoda is, when it is a pagoda, one singular uh, building okay. extending all, all, all three ways. They could do it three ways. Yeah. So what oh, are you mode. going to do, Nelly? Sorry, yeah, I got that question answered. Now I'm tanking. I have, like, a couple good options, I think. <laughs> you could cause a war. You can go to war if you want. You can go to war if you want. This is it's like you're 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 a warmonger by proxy. You don't actually want to go to war. You just feel like, hey, hey, you should go to war. I I think they call those war profiteers. Uh <laughs> Do you think the, the thing is, the person who goes to war is going to be the person who has to explain the war, which is, I think, why we're all shying away from that. Also, like, every warmonger is a warmonger by proxy, right? Like, mm -hmm. that's how you profit from warmongering, I think. You, you monger wars. It's like how you monger fish, right? Hey, anybody Oops. wants some wars? I gotta... Or gourds, like Gragra. But it's, it's, it's like James as the, like, fiscal irresponsibility fairy, you know? Being like... Hey, hey, uh, you should buy that big screen TV. This is the same. It's like, hey, uh, you know what would help this? Going to war. You should go to war. But I don't, I, yeah. I, but I like these people are my ally. Uh, yeah, but you could just go to war. What else are you going to do? Build a pagoda. Bag nabbit. Is that pagoda going to stand, though? A, a pagoda alone cannot stand. It's interesting the way that the colors and the players don't correspond, right? The, the players don't have colors. All right, right talking exactly. Through this war scenario. Here, Quinn, let's come learn about war. What happens if I place the tile to connect our two red situations here, Corey? Then we each throw soldiers at the problem and potentially destroy some buildings. Yeah. What, when you say throw soldiers, they have to be in your hand? Or? Yep. yep. The, the soldiers in the state count, but okay. you can bolster that. We each get a so turn have, to do it. So you'll have three, uh, uh, three op uh, soldiers to start with, Nelly, and then Corey will have two, I think? No, I can't yeah. do the blue one yet. How about the yellow one? Yeah. And I think if it was those th those two uh, red areas that I think I think Matt would also contribute maybe. I don't remember. If I have a governor there, you do. I think. Yeah. So do watch I? out for people who might uh, might might be influencing your wars. No, if Yeah. <laughs> oh, I guess technically yeah, because I don't have a red governor there, but I have a governor there. Um Yeah, it's for control of the state. I thought there could only be two pagodas. Revolt! Of a, of a color. Oh, Revolt. of a bigger color. I see. I see. Yes. Uh-huh. So now we have a government fight. Now, what are you going to do? Coriander. Uh, win. <laughs> <laughs> And just for those who are who aren't aware, uh, whenever something like this is, a, whenever there is an aggressed action, uh, the defending player wins ties. Mm, yeah, I wasn't sure about that because I, I, I think I, I think the in the war an aggressor wins ties. I, 
you could be right. I feel like I've lost wars that were a uh, th that I have instigated as a uh, warrior. But the You're point a is, war you, instigator? You, you never know who's going to contribute to these uh, to, to these various confrontations. So always have a backup plan. Uh, let's see. And maybe an offsite backup too, just in case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm, I have done a bad. Uh-oh. You're not supposed to do bads. I mean, he's already been doing some bads. Are there bads in board gaming with friends, though? Is there anything really wrong once you've showed up and agreed to hang out and play a board game? If you bring the wrong snacks, yes. Yeah, there's plenty of things <laughs> you can do wrong, actually. The right <laughs> yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah. Look, if you get between me and victory... Yeah. I, I will not be responsible for for what happens. Just flip the table. Yep. Big nations. You have Gross. conglomerated estate. You really are staying in your own lane there. Who do I want to get here? I think I want more money. Money, money. <laughs> money. All right. I would like a fish pagoda. Ooh, war. It's war time. War. Why is it good on for? Oh, I suppose I am. Uh, yeah. I'm first. Well, bring uh, it. Sure. Oh, no, I think you are first, oh, actually. It's actually I, asking me to contribute soldiers. You you have that opportunity. What? So I can put them on one side or the other? Yeah. Well, let's talk. Who, who do you want to win this war? Well, who wants to make me want to win the war? <laughs> okay, I've heard nothing. I'm going to pass. Yep. <laughs> Why is it... Oh, it's asking me now, too. I it's guess your it's turn now, players. Matt. You, you can choose... Um, who wants to allow me to profit off of this war as a war profiteer? I think I'm going to win, so you want to be with me if you want the profits. Hmm. Ian, this a counter proposal. This, this, this is my house, and I intend to defend it as such. Hmm. Okay, I'm not that going to spend any. River that. belongs to everyone. <laughs> but especially me. Ah, oh, contribute soldiers to war, I see. Now, is that the yellow or the Yangtze? Put it on the territory. Gotta make sure it's uh, the right side. Uh, yeah, yeah, the lower one, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be clear, um, is there actually a mechanical thing for, uh, like, offering trades and stuff, like, for, for Nelson or, uh... Matt, or that's that's uh, just table talk. Okay. I assumed it was just table yeah. talk, but I, some games actually have like a mechanical part of yeah. like that. But yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't let this go on. Can't let it stand. Okay, so it turns out Ian was hoarding mounds. Uh... <laughs> oh, so you're overconfident. I was a little. I was like, Ian doesn't have any mounds. He can't. How could he possibly have any mans? He hasn't played any the whole game. He would have Ian's... played them if he yeah, had, if them. had them. Ian's the man's mans. Okay. And then you open the uh... closet and like five guys fall out of the closet. So now he gets to own my crap. Yeah. Woo! But you could fight him again if you want. I could. I own. Also, now you All have right. those uh, governors, and you can use their specials. These are in your hand. Look at my self-contained territory. It means nothing to the rest of you. I'm just sitting here controlling an estuary like like one does. You're just sitting pretty. Estuary. 
Uh, 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 revolting. Uh. Yes. 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 I want my fish people back. Uh, the yeah. funny thing is, the fish people will be in a separate state now. <laughs> Shush. Hello. Do you have the pagoda, Corey? Is that what that looks like? Like, it's just a little shack Up above here? the water? No, no, that's just no. a an alternate tile. Okay, so okay. This is one state here. Sorry, I'm gonna. I'm not looking at the Discord. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right there is where I'm looking above the green um, leader square. So Corey no, does. No, it didn't. It didn't make him pull it off. Okay, it has to be so a you, triangle. But she has a triangle too, doesn't she? I, I don't have control over that state. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Sorry, following the rules after the wars and revolts and stuff is a bit more confusing. Okay. Um. I will continue to plot on. Oh, so does nobody have control over that state right now? Right Currently? now, yeah. Interesting. No. So that mean, that's it's why... not connected to a black tile, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why or those, any governors. That's why those three tiles aren't turning into a pagoda. No, that's because the final tile was placed down in a war, and the yeah. person who placed it didn't win the war. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So the tile okay. kind of fizzled a bit. Nice. You can still Neat. build a pagoda there, though, if you pay the right uh, cost. I think it's trader? Yes, one trader to create pagoda. These fishermen are like, we're free! Whoa, now that is a pagoda. Yeah. <laughs> Pagodas of unusual size. Yeah. Um, I feel like that's a little bit overcompensating as a pagoda. Right? Yeah, it's a bit more pagoda than you really need. To be honest, um, it's the equivalent of like putting the like aerial on the top of the tallest building just to eke out the next tallest building. You know, it's like we've got extra floors. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Matt's coming in being like, interesting. what's all this then? Who's in charge of you people? No one? Oh, that can't stand. Yeah. Gonna have to connect you back up to the grid. But we were happy. We were just doing our thing, fishing. Nope, nope. We need more well, government now the, here. Now you have the opportunity to be taxed and happy. Uh, Chaos Trader Nelson has two pagodas. Oh, no, three, because of the governor one. Yeah, sorry, I wasn't seeing the black one. Uh, Nelson's let's just three pagodas sell them. Work on a few things here. The pagodas uh, are really pretty, so I recommend getting them. Yeah. That's why you get them, yeah. Looking good so far. So far. Okay. There we go. That's at least something. Hmm. Well. Is there a button we can click to like take an eye on uh, everybody else's score or not? No. no, no, that's hidden information. You can see what leaders they have, mm -hmm. and you can keep it in your head. Okay, that's annoying, and I, I feel like kind of <laughs> weak game design. If you're like, hey, you could write it down, and then you'd know, versus like it can just be face up. Um, mm -hmm. But that's okay. So oh no, a governor. The fact that Matt has a guy inside Corey's little uh, area there, is that bad? This area down here? Uh, no, over on the... The, um... the right-hand side? 
the the left the one at the bottom of the screen right now. The, here. This one here? Yeah, there's like I don't own a state. We, none of us own states. Oh, okay. But you can only have one leader of the, each color in a state. Oh, I see. Okay, right. Yeah, sure. All right, help me out. What happens as a result of this war being won? You um, take control of the whole state. If yeah, if uh, Ian wins it, then all three of us lose governors, but if he loses, then he loses his three governors there. Got it. So our tiles will be picked up, and also this turn he'll score victory points, and, you know, obviously later turns it'll be easier to score victory points. Is that the idea? Something like that. Yeah. So... We can and he, he won the previous war, right? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Corey calls her Bannerman. All right. Big burns. We've done it, team. Thank you for the coalition government there. Team, team, not Ian. <laughs> Basically, a strong that's team. That was. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, what, what would you say the platform of Team Not Ian is? <laughs> uh, to diversify uh, earnings for our shareholders. Uh... And Gundam Wing. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, uh... See, now you have all those governors you can play with and do the specials for. What do we want to do here? It's a silver lining. Yeah, I think we want to just go up here and uh, say, uh, let's make things revolting. We that just, wasn't what I wanted to do. You place your leader to start a revolt. What the hell? You just burned my stuff. <laughs> What's up with that? Wow. That, and that then that's it? We, I don't get to talk about it? No. <laughs> that's the revolt. <laughs> Try, try to have a revolt and end up just burning stuff. That's kind of a mood right there. Oh, yeah. Dark. Do I do anything? No? Okay, it's just happening? Yeah, you'll, you'll have a chance to respond, but... Uh... Okay. Ian gets to uh, dump all his... Yeah. I get to power up. You've also precluded the ability to build a pagoda back there. Yep, I get it. Um, yeah, it was a very smart strategic move on Ian's part. Strategery. Um, so like, I, if I don't have a hand that's entirely governors, I'm not getting these governors back and I'm still not winning, right? So it's just whether or not I want to refresh for free on a governor tile. It's, it's just two, the right? one governor right now. Uh, you're it's only going to lose yellow. yellow. Okay, okay. Glorious. Okay. I find it so funny that we have the two war pagodas just Boop. across from each it. other. Well, oh, there uh, you go. There's like there's like one guy in the top of each of the war pagodas, like they're just like throwing stuff at each other. Yeah. Hey, you come over here. Oh yeah, you come over here. Like they're just posturing, but they're not. There's like you know, <laughs> ten feet between the two things, and they're like. Nope, we're not gonna actually get to go over there. Uh, da, 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 da. Pagoda, you say? How rude. Pagoda, you say? Oh, and I can't actually place my uh, other farmer tile there.
We are down to 40 tiles in the uh, bank. Uh, two tiles for Pagoda? Hey. Is, that, that, is that that's the time limit on the game? Yeah. Tile so limit. It, There's a pool of tiles. Is it once the last tile is drawn, there's one more turn for everyone? No, I don't think so. I think the game ends. The game just ends immediately once the last tile is drawn? Yeah, you can, have, so. you can have tiles in hand when the game's over. Okay. How are we doing, everyone in chat who's played this game a hundred times? I'm sure they're having fun watching friends have fun. Well, yeah, but I wonder how we're doing at the game. I know oh. we're killing it at having fun and hanging out together. We're pretty good at that. Well, I think all the teams are giving it 110% out there. Uh, Which is unsustainable. Showing some hustle. But, yeah. yeah, you know what? Let's cause some chaos. Are you doing war? War. Gross. Aha! Who's warring me? Ian, Ian. caused nope. this, but... This is between it's... the two of you now. Oh. Wait, how... Ian made us go to war? Yeah. Oh. He joined our states. Oh, okay. With just a random... You're allowed to do that? With a random... Yep. Which tile did he play? Okay. Soldier he played creeper. a red one? Between okay. our pagodas. Alright, I still don't know all the rules of this game by a lot. Good. That's good. I'm like, having fun in learning kiss. board games. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ian's just feeling a bit like a chaos gremlin right now. Last time on Yellow and Yangzi Ball Z, Ian caused a war between Nelly and Corey, and wasn't willing to actually finish the job himself. After much deliberation, he has decided that he's in fact going to back the person he lives with in a hopes of a, uh, a good night's sleep. You told me as the stream was crashing that you would get my back! Ha ha! Who could have seen this inevitable betrayal? Ha ha! So welcome right. back to Crossing the Streams, where we've learned that in war there are no victors. I would just like to point out that when I threw four soldiers out of my hand, I did not consider the possibilities that I, that I would then not win that fight. Yeah. But hey, that's a thing that can happen in this game. But you lost less, right? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, you score your points and you keep your point total, right? Like, your points don't go away. So your ability to gain more points in the future... Yeah, it's buildings that you lose. Yeah, yeah. and I, apparently Ian gets to pick which buildings are destroyed. Apparently, that's something I didn't realize. Neat. Yeah, that's weird because it's cool story. Your, they're not your buildings to destroy. Good to know. Mm -hmm. I, I changed my mind. This game sucks. Let's play Fall Guys. <laughs> I feel like uh, Nelson's thing of, of hey, uh, you know, I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry, I lost this the war. But in my defense. I didn't expect to lose. I put a bunch of guys out there and we just assumed that that would be enough. So. It's not the first time in history. We played hard. It was a large part of my hand that I put out there. I need two of those guys. Dang it. Dang it. Uh, Bobby. <laughs> Thank you for finishing the quote. You get one point. <gasps> of my choice. I wish I could watch my score just go up while sitting here. Yeah. Okay, well that didn't uh, do what I wanted it to. Then why'd you do it? I was trying to discard two fishermen to uh, cause a revolt, but instead I just discarded two fishermen. I think you drag the fisherman tile over the thing you want to revolt. Hmm. Well, we'll try that next time. Yeah. Yeah. To, yeah. <laughs> there's, 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 there's a system. Uh, the fisherman just looking at you with puppy dog eyes. Like, why? Why? Our boats. Alrighty. And dupe. Sweet. All done here. Dupe has been called. Hmm. 
bottom edge is in play. Well, the edge is here. Yep, you've got uh, that pagoda is bumping right up against the edge of the map. That was efficient. Time for another pagoda. Now, what else was I going to do? It'd be a uh, shame if something happened. Why would anything happen? We're all Nothing friends here, happen. right? <laughs> Corey just walking through, you know, knocking on the walls of the pagoda, being like, oh, this is a very nice pagoda you got here. Man, it would be a shame <laughs> if something happened to it. Mmm. You know, sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes pagodas, they just explode for no reason, you know? I, I, I can't even at this point imagine how high Matt's score is. Like, he's just um, it... been, I, I'm sorry to use this phrase, unmolested the entire game. <laughs> You'll find that uh, I have no red presence, so my score is actually fairly low. <laughs> Uh, ah! Why? Wow, Ian, you're here to win. <gasps> Dinger! I need some red presents. Oh, you do God. not care about having a good night's sleep tonight. It's deep. We all knew that was a lie when he said it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, the interesting thing about this is that your score, your ending score is determined by your lowest color. So that means that if you like are haha, I'm gonna specialize in only the you know the trading people. That doesn't actually work. You gotta you you gotta uh, have everything as even as possible. Diversify your bonds. Yeah, you can focus on trading to the detriment of one category because then it just transfers. But you gotta balance otherwise. Yeah, it it cannot pick you up from the bottom across the board yeah just you only have board. so many monies mm -hmm. okay they're, they're non-fungible they have to all be in one pool one funge you there funging currency stop <laughs> it oh no that pagoda wait a minute that was my pagoda no it was I yeah. was <laughs> I was like, I remember when Ian built this. <laughs> I was blinded by rage. Thank, thank the you. The blood Corey. mist descended. Thank you, Corey. <laughs> oh. oh no. It was a well. horrible reminder. Looks like I can burn this down. <laughs> oh no. My pagoda. <laughs> Like I said, shame. Another reward. Oh yeah, fight him, Nelly. Get that money. Mongi. I can't just lose battles to Ian every single turn of this game, can I? <laughs> Can. It's, hey, it's we possible. we all won that one war against him. Yeah, remember when we worked together? Yeah, we just gotta Ian. go back to those days. Yeah, and work against Ian again. Ian, whose turn it is? Hmm. Yeah, now I'm understanding the the, the whole beep to to uh, indicate turn. Mm. <laughs> contribute governors to revolt. Who's revolting? It is basically free to contribute your governor. I'm just going to let this go on. Really? Yep. Mm. Not my problem. <laughs> Says the governor. Getting those wet points. That's the, sir, the peasants are revolting. I should say they are goes back to reading paper. Don't have to tell me. Okay. I like that too much to let it 
go away, so there you go. That's what I call efficiency. Uh oh. We are coming right up on the end. Yep. Oh, 11 tiles, yeah. 11 tiles remain. My score is so sad. Uh, it's making me sad. My score is making me sad. Is it one? Yeah. Oh. Uh, you might want to work on that. <laughs> <laughs> kind of running out of time. He yeah. just said that, everyone. Uh, Someone's burning down all my crap. <laughs> or to borrow from Shangela. He said that. Yeah. Um... The thing is, this this game, you don't actually get very high scores. Like, mine is at 6, and I'm doing well. I did 20 against the robots. That's of the easy robots. computers, I, I wiped the floor with them. No. No pagoda. For pot. Come no on. Pagoda. Pot wants one pagoda. Just one. That is pagoda for the pot. <laughs> Ian, are you just sowing chaos? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm attempting to make some, some points in some areas that I desperately need. Mm. He's making some valid points. And some completely invalid ones. Hmm. So now your score's at two. Good. Good for me. It does feel like the yellow pagoda is not actually getting me anything right now. Because I technically control it. But I'm not getting I'm not really getting score from it. Well, that problem solved. Uh... <laughs> Down to six tiles. Oh. So I, I tried to go pagoda. for a black pagoda there, and I wasn't sure why I couldn't get it when I had like five or. Oh, Where? one of them was the leader, and in the top left. Oh okay, yeah. Only one of them was a regular tile. One of them was the leader, and one of them was the free governor tile. So maybe that doesn't count. The free one counts, but yeah, the leader doesn't. Down to four tiles. So don't play tiles so I can get another turn. <laughs> Is that a contented sigh, Ian? Oh god, no. <laughs> Ian wants to win. I think we should just scrap this match at this point and start a new one. Yeah, let's get this one we done all, fast and loose. We all learned a lot. It's no, 6 o'clock. We need to take a break. We can just quit. Easy breezy. You're causing so many revolts against Corey, Ian. This is... I, I only have one man's. Well, guess the game's over then. Only after you draw. Uh, and I want one more of these. It wasn't enough. Oh my god. Are you gonna retaliate? No. Didn't think you'd get another turn. True. Uh-oh. Uh... Huh? Yeah? Yes. Alright, this is gonna be so much fun. Oh, you all love dang. it so much. Where- I'm on both sides of this! <laughs> what the hell is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Corey and I are both on both sides of this. Okay, Lord. I guess I want Jug to win. Which side is Jug? The one with one point right now. Two points. 
There are heroes on both sides. Uh, I'm going to skip. <laughs> Ian, what are you going to do? Nothing. Okay. Corey, what are you going to do? So I have to contribute too so that nothing burns down. Bingo bongo. Bingo and bongo. Get out of here, miscreants. The states have been separated. Huzzah! The game ends! Alright! Okay! Fifteen, Matt? Hey! No, no, eight. <laughs> Didn't we all tie? I got an eight as well. How come you win? It's eight, 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 and Ian has six. <laughs> huh. Why am I the only person who's not seeing an end of game notification? Did you hit apply or. Oh, does, does your high score act as a tie break? Because I'm in second with nine, and then Corey's in third with all eights. I am in first place, yeah. So maybe it you're. Says... Yeah. Goat so Prince you're... wins on my screen. It says Goat Prince wins on my screen, but it also, in the detailed scores, it's like uh, Matt had 15 jug points or green, green uh, points, right? Yeah. So it's probably a tiebreaker. But yeah, Higher scores are tiebreaker. Thank you, Harold Holmes 25. Okay. okay but that was a close game. But yeah. I mean, the the sure. scores don't go wild. Sure would have been great to see that. But yeah, Ian's on Ian's screen, he's still like in the game. Sorry, Ian. Well, so you know, Warmonger Ian, you got six points, and you came in fourth. Cool. cool. That, that's what you get for making war with everybody, I, I guess. I don't know why your game is stuck. I don't either, but... Uh, the rest of us are on the loading is... screen, and Wait. you all are about to be watching a short break, maybe? Or are we going to just jump into another one because we had a crash? Uh, no, let's, let's take a break. Yeah. Take a little little commercial break here. Uh, all right. Cycle your fluids. Be back in just a minute. We're back at it again in China. Yep. Is that where these are? Yeah. Forget about Corey. It's it's the Yangtze. We get Ian, Nelson, Corey, and Matt playing Yellow and Yangtze, and uh, learning some lessons along the way about friendship and war and war and, and revolt. Not good for anything. I should Turn have one not pagoda. Done... No, I'm not. I'm, I'm undoing that. Alright. Instead! Just... What? You can just undo that? What? Yeah, I, Who? Yeah, the, I, don't, undo I don't know which... <laughs> oh, you didn't place your leader first, because you don't have to for those ones. That's fascinating. So when you yeah. get that pagoda, does that mean, like, that it's not even your pagoda? Like, someone else can come along and grab it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wild. Okay, okay. You can place any tile anywhere as long as there's a government tile adjacent to it. You just don't get score for it unless there's the matching color government tile in that state. So if I put a red tile anywhere here, I would get nothing unless I had a red governor right next to the, that state's center or whatever. <laughs> okay. I love fish. Classic turn one combo off. <laughs> Ooh. So Maybe I feel I like... Sorry, go ahead. The last game, Ian went to war, I think, more than anyone else, but came in last. Are these things connected? Do you want to just be trying to hide and, like, not interact with the other players unless you have to? Or is there a strategy where you want to just charge towards other people? War and revolts are probably more disruptive than anything. Like, you do mm. it if it seems like someone is really getting on ahead. Or if they're blocking you. Or if you're just trying to get things up to a certain level of equality. Mm -hmm. mm. Is there a pagoda in your future, Cory? I am sensing Pagoda. Mm. 
That pagoda is pagoda. These are efficient first turns. Yep. Just gotta get them, get them out, get I them going. I prefer to board game like on speed run mode, at least until everyone you know understands it really well, mm -hmm. and then you can go pretty fast too. You know, once you've learned all the ropes. Or whatever. I just keep assuming all the turns are my turn. It's <laughs> like, oh, I can grab a tile. No, now I can't. Now you can. Now I can. Pretty close to all your turns. Yeah. My turn, you say? Yes. Uh, but what do I want to do? Oh, um, go into the sea! <laughs> so, I have a question for... Uh, for the individual who is the loin and the individual who is the arrow. Um... Who has a better argument for why I shouldn't destroy your pagoda? Uh, I will find you. I, I have a certain set of skills. <laughs> uh, what did we learn last time about, about being being a nuisance? It pays off. Hmm. How about? Hmm. Which one of you are willing to uh, avoid a destruction of one of my pagodas in the future? We're table talking. I like yeah, it. Look, I like it. Well, look, if I remember this, there's still no guarantee I'm not going to. So Ian can't be trusted. Is that what we're saying? Yes. I definitely won't lie to you and just be like, sure, I'll I'll preserve one of your pagodas in the future. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the safest thing to assume is that when you're playing a board game with me, I'm a complete and total, uh, oh, what's the one where you hate all humanity? Um, I mean, what I is that what one? I mean, yeah. chaotic Isn't evil? Group? Misanthrope? Misanthrope. Misanthrope. Yeah. Mis one, misanthropy yeah. is just hating life, right? That's the one. Yeah. Not, no, yeah. nihilism is like different. It has to do with. Yes. Nihilism, there is no inherent meaning. That's yeah, it's like accepting like chaos and. and uh, uh, what's the word? The other one that sort of means chaos, but more far reaching. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but misanthropy, misanthropy is like hating it actively. So Ian will burn down your pagoda. Mm. But not out of malice, just so much out of... Like, not, not personally directed malice. The issue is that it's there. Yeah. And you're here. Yeah. Like, yeah, there's, there, there's, there's a thing to be done, and that seems to be the best thing at the moment. Yeah. I burn your pagoda, but don't take it personally. Ideally, I'd eliminate everyone before I start to work on my plans, because it's so much easier that way. Yeah, honestly. What's one Nelly thing Nelly's about? poor sweet brain is trying to figure out the strategy of this game. Put down <laughs> tiles. Make them you, look you, nice. Yeah, you put yeah. things down, and then we take them from you. Right? Yeah, that's, that's how it goes. Um, sure. These are some tiles. They're on the board now. <laughs> got two points for that, I'm sure. All right, I'm I about to do the thing that I just kind of described. 
popping off. Well, no. Uh. <laughs> popping over, yeah. Pop, popping around. Popping fresh. Popping into. Popping about. Yeah. Popping the stack. Oh no. Oh no! Uh -oh. He uh -oh. had. Oh no! I. Ah! Hot friends. I can't Popping believe you've done this. In and around. Okay, so in that no. situation, I hadn't played my governor leader token yet. Yeah. And that's what swung the battle for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. and I underestimated how many you would have in addition to your leader. I should have accounted for that. I. Right. Uh, all I feel is shame. So. <laughs> So if you haven't played your leader on the board, it's like a free extra card for those little battles. Like it's a free extra soldier. Depending on the type of government. battle. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. just those two. Just the red and black ones, right? No. no. The other ones reduce costs for things like the other things. the pagoda stuff. or For example, the red soldier token acts like another soldier in war. Yeah. Whereas the blue... Uh, reduces the cost of the revolts to a single farmer. Okay. Uh, That's good to know. That said, we're going to uh, hunt some things up here. Take one of those and drop one of those. Yeah! Got that big green. Oop, no, do not pass. Do not pass. Grab one soldier, collect two hundred dollars. Well, now I know you have a soldier. You're sharing the information for free, Ian. I can't. I can't control what I do. <laughs> Wait a minute. Only the government can. I have no executive function. <laughs> Mood. That's what the black tiles are for. I mean, contingent cat, there's no unless he's lying, because you could actually, you were literally able to see me go into the section here and choose the soldier token. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry. Happy that the, I'm really happy that the trader comes out to say hi here whenever you do that. <laughs> so. Another green. More green. Oh. Okay. Green's off balance. Green. Oh, big red, big red. Oh, geez. Could get your pyrocosms going on. Sorry to slow grow the story. <coughs> I was googling nihilism. My pagoda. <laughs> uh, there's something inherently nihilistic about googling nihilism. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah. I I had previously before that I was like googling the like words I needed to Google to remember the word entropy, which is the word I was trying to think oh, of. Oh, that's the chaos but bigger. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think of. It's like entropy. It's kind of like, seems related to nihilism to me, but I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know if I have these philosophical ideas correct. So, I was trying to catch up. And now You ought to get your philosophy up. straight. I, I don't know how to tell you this, but entropy is real. Right. <clears throat> But nihilism doesn't believe in things, so if it's real, it can't be, you know, related to nihilism, right? Ian is once again focusing all of his stuff over in one little state there. Rude. I would call that no different than Corey and putting her, uh... I'm all over the place, and I tried to take over Nelly's green almost Yay! pagoda. That's true. You did try to do that. You got this soldier government, uh, sort of, sort of a, uh, I want to say, Washington? Yeah, Washington. There we go. In the district of Yangs, Columbia. Another big red. Another big red. What will I do? 
69 tiles left in the bank. Nice, 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 nice. Nice. So far, none of us have made the things touch, but let's see if mm -hmm. that changes. I'm, I'm... You're threatening it. I'm painting a line in the sand on the northeast of China. West, northwest. East, northeast. Unlike most everyone else, I have no money points. Oh, oh hello, Dolly. Hello. When it's my turn. When it's your turn, yeah. Yep. So, uh, you may not have heard me asking the question, but uh, Ian and Nelson, you two probably watched Law and Order, right? I've seen how'd... some of it. I'm not like all the way caught up or anything, but nope. I know the theme song. Yeah. How does yeah. how does it start? How does the, how does the opening thing start? Because it's like in the district of of Yangli, or Yangtze, Yang Lumbia. In the district of Yangtze and Yellow, there are two sides. The blue farmer people and the red soldiers. <laughs> Here we will learn how to make both of them all blow up. These are their boom, stories. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that's right. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom. Dick Wolf. Exactly. Exactly. Dick Wolf Digital, actually, this time. Ooh. Digital Dick Wolf. <laughs> digital style. <laughs> don't, digital. I don't like. I don't like how that sounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dick Wolf. No. <laughs> oh, so much to do. So much to see. So little room for activities. Right? Come on, there's a whole nother river here. I'm the only one with blue so far. <laughs> I mean, also, when the, when the only activity available is expansionism, it, it does become a bit difficult. Hmm. Yeah, you gotta find your niche when you're expanding. <laughs> but what if... I had the fishman. Okay, walk us through the mm. revolt. Like, what's the strategic advantage here? The strategic advantage? I get fish. You get fish. <laughs> yeah, that I, okay. I couldn't have afforded otherwise. Fishes are delicious, so that's fair. I mean, who doesn't want fish? Take control of the pagoda. Let Game us know in chat. Food. If you don't like sushi, this is probably the wrong channel for you. I dislike this move you've done. Hey, I got fishmen. That's, that's set up. If anyone's making uh, sushi out of these river fish, I want no part in it. Okay, so you kick off his leader tile. Matt's yep. leader tile's gone, and now these are your yes. points producing blue cards. Okay, okay. Yep. So you only get points from tiles connected to the same state as your leader. Okay, so you have to kind of watch out for these black tiles, and if they have any openings, then someone can jump on them and do these revolts. We're figuring it out slowly, chat. Maybe by the end of the night, I will know how to play Yellow and Lang Yangtze. Yeah. Or at least by the end of the night, maybe I'll know how to say Yellow and Yangtze. <laughs> you held governors back. <laughs> Didn't need those ones for you, Matt, sorry. So, I guess I'll do that then. 
Now that move, that I, I think I figured out that like playing your getting a hold of the pagodas early and middle in the game is not super relevant and it's kind of posture. They generate the points per turn that they're active. Oh, do they? Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's okay. passive. Intensely cover. useful to have. Yeah. It's all right. Passive all right. Income. I thought it was just. A, I thought it was just an end of the game bonus. I'm glad I spoke up. Yeah, you got you got to make that passive income, as the YouTube tutorials tell you. It's true. That's how you do it. Yeah. Um. What if I don't have the tiles that I want? Well, you can discard them as an action. Really? Yeah. Click on them, and they'll they'll gain a ring of fire around them, and then you can uh, choose the discard button. You can click many... as many as you want. You just throw your hand out. If you want. And then one action gives you that many new tiles? Yeah. Basically. Okay, 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 okay. It takes an action, but you can do as many of them as you want. Good good to know. Um, am I actually doing that? Well, are you? No, sorry. I just realized I can use these tiles for something different if I want to. Good or evil. Good or evil. Or so the middle that, way. Right? Um, what happens instead if I just do this? Oh, well, that's not they, what I wanted to have happen. I thought we were going to revolt. No, do you I have, have to play the blue it's one? blue, yeah. Do? Yep. Okay. There you now go. Now we revolt. So you're dis deposing or attempting to depose a government official. Oh, jeez. That is your whole hand. Uh, I'm just going to walk away. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's like no one else wants to put their own fish people down. I'm putting some fish people. You are using your entire hand. <laughs> cool. Thanks, everybody. So... We got there. What's a recall? Um, oh, like a recall election? This down. And then... Get some fish people. Let's keep fighting forever and ever. Yeah, that'll work. That's the nature of war. Oh, right, I forgot that you would have redrawn some tiles. It's not letting me, though. <laughs> there we go. No! No! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. The, the jewel of that river. The curse my casual disregard for the order of events. So I haven't placed my governor leader ever, and so everyone else is getting passive income if they have a governor pagoda. And I'm my governor points are like very low, but, yeah. But it lets me get into these revolts better, right? It does. Yeah. That's the whole balance to the whole thing. That's what they're there for. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hmm. Wow, I can't. Okay, so now, Corey, you put your trader leader down, and I have the farmer leader. So yeah. who controls the state? No one? No one. Okay, so do neither of us score points here? Is that how this works? You score blue points. Okay, okay. Cool. Well, I'm getting that back. Uh... <laughs> Man, this game is like going to school. As, as it progresses, you figure out how much more about it you don't know. A little bit. Mm. I put down the wrong governor there. The tall pagoda is here. Hooray. Game must be getting close to done. That's where all the money is. Yeah, it's just built of money. The rest of the Pakotas are built of, like, wood and stuff, but that one's just built of gold. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> Forever and always. I need some blue. Just build your own, my god, you people. <laughs> well, if you don't have any... Store-bought is fine. This. No! Well, that's the one you knew about. Like that one, that one was face up. No 
Oh, right, that doesn't work. Okay, so question. Yeah. If I put my governor leader tile down here, the leader tile between Corey's uh, farmer leader and my fish... Sorry, between Corey's trader leader and my farmer leader. So it's this tile. Yeah, right above where your mouse is there, Ian. If I put my leader tile down there, can someone else still jump on and start a revolt, or will the revolts be kind of done? Um, they could uh, build a government tile behind them and then jump off a revolt there, I think. Oh, okay. okay. But it would so cost there's... them more. Okay, it would, take, it would take one extra step, but it's not like the revolts would definitely be done. I understand. Yeah. It's an it's an avenue to, like, pre press. Okay. That's cool. You could also cause a war by If I just joined it up state. with, yeah. I can yeah. join it up with uh, your stronghold just to the, to the north, right? Yeah, you two should fight. I mean, if you wanted to, but don't. <laughs> That's messy and rude. Well, hold on. If I just put down a farm, or sorry, a, yeah. A farmer tile, like a blue tile, between the blue and the green spaces that I control. It says war, but what? Why? You're connecting the states. And the Corey states fight. This one leader. Yeah, there's two green leaders in those separate states, and they will fight. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Well, Corey, hey, if I do that, uh, would you like to concede? And no. I'll try to hook you up. Like, <laughs> well, what do you even have here? What's your stronghold? You have a traitor leader tile. And I have a traitor else. leader, but if I win the war, then I get the whole state. Wow. Your leaders all get kicked out. Okay. Okay. Well. Well, what do you want to leave? What do you mean? I don't you know. want me. You want me out of there? No, I just want to connect the state so that my soldiers can protect my farmers. Right. That's kind of how it works, isn't it? Because if the kind state's of. all connected, then if someone goes to war with you, then you get the benefit of your your people that are connected through the hexagons. I think. Kind of, yeah. Kind the of. red tiles, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does up the number of destroyed tiles unless you're contributing an equal or more number of soldiers. Okay, so, yeah. So the, that's beneficial to me. Uh, so... I guess we just have to duke it out. You just gotta. Oh, it's just the green leader and the green leader. Uh, is Ooh. it me first? No, it's not. Sorry. Corey, it's you first. And all your sirens. Oh no! She's got the cops on her side! Can I, can I back out now? <laughs> I'm gonna run away. Um, I'm not going to contribute because I don't care. <laughs> I'm just gonna lie down, put my hands behind my back, and Similar. tell everyone that I'm cooperating. All right, Nelly, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna throw a soldier in there, mm -hmm. just in case. Strengthen up. Now for a counter war. Counter war. Definitely doing what Matt suggested. And not at all getting the gold pagoda. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. How are you feeling right now, Nelly? Um, I'm having fun. This game's pretty sweet. Mm. I don't have any black points. So I'm probably mm. not winning, and the game's almost over. Nah, it's not almost over. Left in the draw. But I did this thing where I, like, kind of, like, drove both the places I was invested in into a single state. So that's neat for me. I'm learning how to play. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And like, what, Did that answer your question? Yeah, I was thinking more along the lines of how well defended do you feel? That's a weird How vulnerable? Are what, are you, what are your weaknesses? If you walked up uh, to someone at a party and you were like, how likely am I to persuade you into something that you don't want? Like, is that... 
something that a friend says to another friend? Oh no, maybe. Okay. Who knows? Can I stab you? Right? And, and not and not a permission based thing. I just want to know if it's physically possible for me to stab you because How's, I am thinking of stabbing. How stabbable are that. you right now on the on the whole? Well, the outside of me is all just made of skin, and then the inside is just bones and things that hurt when you stab them. Oh hell no. Oh, hell. Well, well, well. Well, who's like whose big idea was this? Uh, so, I believe Matt is the answer. Yeah, yep. how you feel. It sure again. is. It's a good thing I wasn't using these. I know you didn't want them to touch, but we gotta make the states touch. I don't know if I want to lose this. So, like... Good thing both of us get to contribute to it. Right. There you go. Oh, oh, this is bad. What is? Uh, just the number of destroyed buildings. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Don't like it. Who's going to get to pick which buildings are destroyed? Matt. Mm. Okay, he's zero ours. Good. Woo. So I, I thought I could try to zero it, but uh, apparently the person who starts the war is the only one that can do that. Mm. So, if you contribute soldiers during war, you get cards from the bank back. At the you fill your hand, regardless of what's going on. It's just what, whenever you spend tiles, you fill your hand once your turn's done. Okay. Yeah. A revolt? Yeah. Kind of pissed off at you. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, Jesus. Fuck. Well, that's not gonna work. Uh, alrighty then. Thank you for the gold point. I know you didn't want the states to touch, but sometimes you just gotta get close to your neighbor. Yep. Yeah, I would agree with, uh, Insane Cat 6 MTG. I don't know if there's too many spots on the map where you can blue pagoda. Just like two, three there's spots. Um, no, maybe there's more than it seems because like a bunch the, of the coast tiles. You there are four blue. spots. It's the the upper right triangle, the okay. right center triangle, the middle one that I built up early, yeah. and the bottom left triangle. Oh, right. There's one way down there. Okay, cool. Yeah. Good, good. We figured it out. Like now, I'm just feeling vindictive. You didn't you already feel vindictive? Vindication no, no, is actually, an important, I, important part. I of didn't life. at all. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just ruin things for other people. <laughs> I I believe I will choose a violence. Full violence chaos gremlin. I see. I have to choose first here, hey. Um, okay, well, I would like for not too many buildings to be destroyed, so, I don't know, can I... How do we do that? Uh, higher numbers on your side, basically. You see the, the minus two and minus three stuff on the outside edges? Yeah, 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 okay. That's the number. So the more humans die, the less buildings get burned down. That's interesting, because I guess... I guess it kind of makes sense, but I didn't think it would be connected. <laughs> Oh. oh how no. how well do you feel you'll be able to defend this, Corey? I don't have any soldiers. None at all? None. I was in a bad position for that war. You know, undo that. That doesn't change the count. Uh, that's a skip. All right. What a weird game mechanic. Ian places a tile, then Corey and Matt have to go to war with me. Yeah. We both contribute resources so that our stuff gets blown up, and then Ian decides which stuff gets blown up. 
Yeah. Yes. Like, I read that right, right? I just explained how this game works? Okay, cool. Yep. Okay. It's It's full chaos mode, and that's that's what Ian has turned into, is full chaos mode. So I guess knowing that, like, the the nature of the game is, like, if you're going to put stuff down, like, when you put tiles down, you have to be ready for, you know, someone to spend their turn blowing your stuff up as soon as your state touches another state, right? Yeah. Yeah. Retribution can occur. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Additional casualties. Uh, well, Even more. Only be those. Right. Gross. Neat. <laughs> All right. Now is your chance to get revenge. Uh. I mean. Remember who are you most angry Anna? at? I don't know if that's the path to victory, though. It I'd might be. Get, I'd rather get victory than revenge. There's 25 tiles left. Yeah. Uh-oh. Sometimes victory is impossible, and revenge is the only option. I really need to do this. That seems important. And you then... have all of your people in one state there. Yep. Is that okay? It's fragile. That's You're what fragile. I'll say. I mean, I am. It, it's true. Wow. That was a good album. I know where all the blue tiles went. <laughs> Getting some stuff back. Doopy doo. You now have that yellow. Hopefully, this will work in my favor. Let me check my tiles. Ah, it's all bad. All oh no. bad. Oh no. My turn now. Um, you know, Corey, you just said it. Oh no, that's Ian. Ian's vindictive, and I want to make more people vindictive, so I'll choose this one. Uh, that's cool. I'm not mad about it. Where even is... Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh. Didn't even see that. Be a shame if... (laughs) One of one of the three legs your Pakoda stands on was broken. Uh oh. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's do no, can't do that. Can I do that? No, can't do that. Yeah, I, I agree with Kusi no Noki. Noki. You just wanna play these games. A bunch of times in a row until you kind of learn the texture of it, and then it'll be smart enough for me. It'll be fine. Texture is <laughs> an interesting word for that, but that is true. Yeah, like I don't, I don't know all the rules yet. Like I, I couldn't tell you how to play this game, but I'm getting a feel for it. Mm-hmm. You just put tiles down, and then they do things. I mean, yeah, the game tells you you have two actions. You can put down a leader tile, or you can put down. Um, what are they I Sorry. I personally tiles? am so happy that I don't have to do the math to yeah. play this. <laughs> For sure. Wow, there's a lot to keep track of. I think if I was playing this on paper, it'd be like, okay, we got to the bottom of the tiles. The game's over. Anyone want to count? Or we could just play again. <laughs> I hope Ian gets to see how this one ends. I'm going to go get nachos. I'll bring them back. If the tiles are still here, we'll put them in the board box and then we'll play again. <laughs> Mahjong and FF14. Yeah, I feel that a little bit. Mahjong generally is just like... I have not pierced the veil on understanding the strategy of Mahjong. It's just Jim Rummy, but with more stuff, isn't it? Like, Mahjong's not that complicated. It's just very pretty and loud. (laughs) Yeah, but, like, personally, um, I'm a dummy, 
So right. when I look at it, I, my eyes just kind of cross a bit. I think, yeah, I think the basic theory of Mahjong you can learn in like an hour, and then you play like for four or five more hours, and then you realize like, oh, there's a whole bunch of weird little niche cases. <laughs> there's a bunch of weird little house rules basically you have to learn. But it's a fine game. Yeah. Okay, I got another turn. I wasn't sure. It's getting very close. Yeah, I know. Ian was really in the tank there, which means that he has some big plans for the future. <laughs> uh, I think he's going to uh, disrupt the, the industry. As one does. Oh, it's Corey's turn, not mine. Okay. I have a bit more time to See? Think. You have the same problem I do. Being good at board games? It's such a curse. I agree. If anyone ever tells you I'm good at board games, they're lying. Now it's your turn. Exciting. Th this fight for like the eighth time. <laughs> I did not think that I was making a cultural wonder and a jewel of the river. It's a honey pot. That. Okay, so if I put one governor down but can't put a second, then you would lose. Is it is it any different from not putting a governor down? Because like I know it'll refresh my hand, right? So I know it'll yeah. like advance the end of the game. But will it do anything else? Will I, like, lose less stuff? Like, if I'm going to lose this fight, no matter what? No. It's just, like, which governor same? stays down. Cool. I will not contribute the one governor that is obviously in my hand. You only have the one. No more. Just one. Now, Ian was, uh, doing some cycles in his head last time. I wonder if they're going to really pop off this time. They might. Oh. That's what you would call a pop off. So many bloomin'. I only have one choice. It doesn't let me pick the other one. Oh no, it does. I had to scroll. Okay. So this one belong I can't even tell. This one belongs to Corey. And this one belongs to Matt. Matt, you won last game. Oh no, my tower! Right? Yeah, just like that. Um, Super Mario Brothers Super Style. Now I'm going to lose the game. Well... If I start a war, I get to choose which things blow up. Yes. That's a lot of everything going on right now. Oh, uh, That's right? like a total war. Yeah, look, I made the whole board go to war. How about that? Bingo. So we're currently tied. Okay. Literally everyone is involved. Yeah. But the purpose of war is to blow up buildings, and if you start the war, then you decide which buildings blow up. Uh, but what if you I'm... didn't start the war? Yeah. Or the fire? Then you wouldn't choose which buildings blow up. I literally cannot contribute, so I will not. Nelson did start the fire. It was not yet burning, but <laughs> now it currently is burning. <laughs> We're gonna send yeah, it to the yeah. hag. Corey, how do 10, you feel about years dungeon. This? How do I yeah. feel about this? I'm upset. I am outraged. Especially at the destruction of my crap. 
Choose Ooh. additional casualties. Those are like my own casualties. I yeah, you have yep. to do it to yourself. No I one wins that. in a war. A well, lot I thought of I get stuff to, got destroyed I get to there. choose. I want your stuff to blow up, though. Ugh. Weird. Ian, that wasn't as fruitful as I thought it might be. It worked out for me in, 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 a, in a certain way. I wanted to blow up like your stuff, maybe Corey's stuff, Matt's stuff, perhaps. Uh -huh. I had to blow up. I had to blow up a bunch of my stuff, so I'm I'm confused. <gasps> Still learning, I guess is what I would say. My pagoda. When I started this Yeet. war, I didn't think I'd lose anything. Yet another revolt for that. God damn it. How dare you? Oh wait, this isn't even me. <laughs> I mean, get him, Corey. I wonder who's gonna win there. this one. I got him! I Here got him this time! Enjoy didn't underestimate anything! I got what I needed out of those fishermen, and now I can yes. turn them loose. I get the last turn. You sure do. Oh. Wait, unless you only play leader tiles, then... <laughs> hmm. I don't have that, I don't have that. Um... The game is over, and I got Achievement the... unlocked pirate. Same, yeah. Wow, Ooh, also Nelly. champion. Did I get there? So I don't think that war helped me, by the way, but I did come in first this time. So again, Ian isn't seeing. What is Ian missing? The end of the game isn't showing up for Ian for whatever reason. No. We all got a, a screen that showed up that said "game over." Oh, nice yep. laptop. Love it. Is it? I guess it... if I don't win, I don't get to see the results. Is it because you're the host, maybe? So it shouldn't be. Nelly got nine points, Matt eight, me seven, Ian four. The difference here is that um, Nelly had uh, kind of head and shoulders above points other than black points. Yeah. yeah. We got taken to the store. Uh, it is seven-ish. Do we want to take a break? Uh, we'll break and then one more game? Sure, let's yeah. do it. Yeah, it seemed to go quick. I'm yeah. down. So we'll be back after these messages. Goodbye. Bye. Welcome back to Crossing the Streams, everybody. Uh, this is game three, where I have my last chance to achieve victory before the end of time. It's, it's all down to this, and then we can get onto the really important thing, like reading the subs. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> to start us off, Ian goes first. Yes. And this time we're speed playing, right? Yeah, yes, speed playing. If anyone didn't get in on congratulating me, I won the last game. Feel free to post your congratulations in chat. <laughs> <coughs> Yay. Post your W's in chat. Uh, also, by the way, um, uh, the players have <coughs> changed who they are. So... Uh, Nelly is the um, ox. Watch the edge of the screen. Corey is the uh, arrowhead. And uh, Matt is the lion. And Ian is the jug. Jug life. Jug life. We're like jug light. There we go. Ian thought it was very important to switch his background instead of finishing his turn. Very important. <laughs> so important. There we go. And I'll take... That background is scary. I'm making a statement. Yeah. You know only war? Is that the statement? Mm-hmm. <coughs> today shall be a grim reminder of, uh, of days past. Okay. Okay, I understand. Anyway, I'm done. 
Dantinelli. Well, it's my turn. I'm the ox people this time. You're the ox snail. It's true. Well. Where are you going to place your battlefield? Or are you going to make a new state all of your own? Yeah, are somewhere you else. A, are you going to cause a revolt immediately? Not yet. No. No revolts immediately. I think I kind of like what Ian had going on there. Ian Seemed like a the good a good way to get it going. Get it going on. Got to get it going on. Got to get it going on. Got uh, got to get it. Or got got to goat prince in this case. Okay, yeah, I, I'm lion player, but all of my governors have the arrowhead symbol on them. That's weird. <laughs> it's a perfect game with no bugs. Yeah, that's not ideal. They do have the arrowhead. I'm they only using the same glitch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not going to be easy. <laughs> should we? Should we muck and reboot? Like. I would... turn... It's turn uh, one. We've all taken one turn. No one's really invested. Like, I, I'm kind of down <laughs> to just restart this game. No, I, we should play okay. through. I want to see if I can fight him. Okay, good. God. Let's, yep. let's I do it. playing broken games. Okay, good, good. Uh, yep. Sponsored. I like it. <sighs> <sighs> Is that Jug me or you? That's me. Oh, cool. Okay, it's as long as we know. <laughs> I am the Jug Chugger. <laughs> the Juggernaut, if you will. I am the one who chugs. The Chuggernaut is really good damage. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh oh. I'm the Chuggernaut bees. <laughs> I'm here for your honey. All right. I think a new government should be established in the north. My pagoda wasn't around when I was <laughs> so between the two arrowheads. Cool. No, this will be difficult. Great. <laughs> okay, just... I think we should definitely restart the game. I actually do not know which side of this revolt I am on. <laughs> do I have two points or do you? I'm, I'm, I'm ending the. I'm, well, should I save next? I'm going to resign. I resign as governor and host Thank of this you. multiplayer game. I, I accept that we found the right course after a moment. Should we all restart our client too? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to actually just host another game. Okay. okay. I, I'm going to. On to face screen. Human, as human, well. human, 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 human. Yeah. Humanity. Those are the people that live yeah. near the Yellow and Yangtze rivers. Okay. Yeah. Uh, join up. I'd like to join last. <laughs> Good. <laughs> you might end up with Arrow. <laughs> yeah, you might. I guess so. Ooh. But uh... in my defense, the game liked it when I joined last before. I am snail boar. I'm waiting for player. The head of a boar and the tail of a snail. I'm going to yeah. wait for you Bull. to be done waiting for player. Well, <clears throat> come on, Direwolf Digital. We can do it. it I'm gonna, it's a casual game. I'm going to exit out of the game and then refresh it and then. Uh... Okay try and log in again because I don't want to wait for player longer than 10 seconds and I gave it 10 seconds. Reasonable. Uh, <laughs> Which stream is this again? Are we crossing the streams or is this watch and play? Mm. This is Tinker Taylor. Nice. Tinker Taylor soldier fry this uh, keyboard. Time yeah. to oh. build a better board game. All the players have the same icon. There we no are. one is at war with each other. There we go. I got in. 
Okay. It looks good so far. But... So I believe Ian will get the first turn again, and we can just get right into it. Yep. We're speed playing. Okay. Nope. I'm going first. I will put the thing down here. Check out this turn one. Okay, okay. That's what I was going to do. Oh, flashy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right? Yeah, it's, that's a pee good start. This is the, after I've played one or two games of this game. Yeah, don't pee where you Very fish. Very good start. Huh. All right, Nelson's icon is correct, so that's one out of four. <laughs> one out of four, yeah, we did it. We'll see if the horn gets the horns. He does. Mother bussers. All right. Everything is working as intended. It's all, it's all happening. Hooray. It's all happening. We get to play another game. This game's going to work. This game? Working. Functional. Gotta love it. Okay. Loin. Efficient turns for efficient players. Oh man, what if I just tried to get points? <laughs> what if? What if? Uh, I, I, I actually don't recommend that strategy because it hasn't been working out lately. It hasn't been working out the past two times. You have to make a nice uh, territory, but not too nice, you know? Mmm. Mm. If it's too nice, everybody walks up to it and says, hey, nice pagoda. This is yeah. mine, actually. Be a shame, shame. If, if it was mine, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I gotta think of what I want. What do I but want out of life? But Corey, we're speed playing. No time we're for speed think. playing? Oh, no! No time for uh, think. Only do... Uh, uh, Oh, that's bad. Block. There we go. Yes. Time for government. This will be excellent. Big government. I'm in support of big government. I'm nonpartisan because I am working the election this year. Uh, but get your I'm vaccines, kids. I'm upset with the lack of real left wing candidates. Right. I have no opinion on that legally. Yep. In there, Matt. <laughs> God, Nelly is popping off. Uh, We're doing things uh, over here. We're doing some things. That jug is so full of points. Uh, it, yeah. Just give me mine. There you go. Just give me, give me, give me a letter for midnight. Uh, a letter? What? Yeah. <laughs> Take me through the darkness to the note of my death. <laughs> That's exactly how that song goes. Yeah. Why am I the one without any pagoders? Um. Look, you're going to have to ask yourself these questions. These are important questions to ask yourself. And you can and should. Yes. Can and should. Hmm. Which is more attractive to people, war or revolt? Um, I thought it was I war and peace. Like revolts, I would just just uh, just thematically. In the context of the game, I'd rather not answer the question. <laughs> yeah, contingent cats got me. <clears throat> Bingo bongo. My turn now. Dees. Already me. 
And so, it comes so quickly. It comes to me. Don't act. React. <laughs> Is that that line from that Xena episode? Xena Warrior Princess? Yeah. With her pal Gabriel? Gabriel, yeah. There was one episode, and I think it was only one episode, where they literally turned into angels, but also demons. That, that sounds like a Xena. Yes, yeah. Xena can be your angel or your demon. <laughs> and, and Xena. <clears throat> How did I walk into that? Um... <laughs> I was born in the shadows. You only came to the shadows to play board games, but I live here. Please take your shoes off at the door. That's right. As is Don't the East scuff the shadows. Yeah. Try Don't not to track into the dirt. shadows. I have a mudroom for a reason. That's right. Yeah. Don't just lean against the walls of the shadows. Keep your fingerprints off the wall that's when you've those, been eating chicken things. wings. Wash your hands before touching my walls. Oh, the, God. the buttons on your pants are going to scratch my shadows. <laughs> that why sounds like I a didn't... different different kind of shadows than what I'm talking about. I, my shadows don't require you to take off all your clothes. I didn't say take them <laughs> off. I just said don't lean against them. Don't scuff the shadows on your way down the hall. To, to, to be fair, Corey, you've only seen halfway through season three of Babylon 5. It's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There could be more about the shadows yes. you're not wearing. I don't want Mr. Of. Morden telling people to take the clothes off. <laughs> don't want you. it. <laughs> See? I, I'm just stuck on the image of someone leaving a slime trail on a wall of, like, barbecue sauce from eating, like, chicken wings. Love it. Love, love to hear about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My turn. Oh, hey everyone, what up? Dark mode just kicked in. Oh snap. Is it that time? Apparently. Like on Animal Crossing or this game or what? What do you mean? But no, what? just in my OS. Your O oh, here operating system, Darko? Cool. Yep, we, we moved over to dark mode because apparently it's sunset. Nice. Love it. And also I agree. <laughs> <laughs> mm. As the sun sinks into the Pacific Ocean, makes such beautiful colors in the sky. <laughs> That's such terrible contrast on my windows. Mm. Ooh. My turn now. We are all basically playing in our own little sandboxes right now. God! <laughs> Thank Christ. Oh, technically not touched, or just touching enough that it doesn't matter. Yeah. that's You didn't start a war just now? Yeah. Nope. It's okay. it, it gets a little weird between the fish people and oh, okay. everyone else. I, I didn't realize, because I started yeah. a war with... I started a war with fish people last game, so... I know, right? If you don't... Are you allowed to just choose not to, or how does it work? Because you're definitely touching, right? It's it the just, governors. I, I put it down, and I thought, oh god, here comes war, and war didn't happen, so I'm unclear. It's the governors. Uh, You'll notice none of the governors are the same colors. Hmm... Oh, there's no states at... Well, there's no uh, oh, ministries yeah, yeah. at war. Yeah. Okay, okay, so this state is being run by one blue, one black, one red, one green. So there's no war to be had. So if you play a governor tile anywhere, you'll just start a war I, immediately, right? But, but if somehow we can, but if we connect this station, or that. This station there will be a war there right, because right. of the green and green. Neat, hmm. okay. What a cool I thought game. Everyone, I thought everyone knew that um, in the previous two games. Uh, Please don't overestimate what I know. 
Look, the, the amount of stuff we don't know about this game could fill a small pamphlet-sized uh, instructional booklet. Or, like, clearly more than a three-hour stream. That, too. <laughs> and yet we're all having fun. What a great game. You can enjoy it even if you have no idea what's going on. That's, like, yeah. very high-level game design. Oh, my so turn. far, just nothing but kudos for the developers of Yellow and Yangtze. It's like motorsports. Nothing but kudos for motorsports. <laughs> Nothing but kudos for motorsports. After three hours of playing Yellow in the NC, I have to say that I love motocross. <laughs> that's uh, just that's all there is to it. Uh, just, I have just, been watching mountain biking videos. I'm just gonna mm. lay down my enduro leader here and uh, form a revolt. A revolt. Then we'll pave down one of these pagodas into a sweet jump course. <laughs> Hey, it's everybody's favorite person, the merchant. That's artisans. That's the artisan. Yeah, the, artisan. the artisans are the the artisans are the people who. Hey, it's everyone's hey Ian, it's person. you. Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, what? Does yeah. it look like? Does the artisan look like me? No. Well, they have the best mustache of all the people. Well, maybe no. That's doesn't. that's your job. It's it's what you do. Like oh, you're not a soldier, and you don't live in the ocean. Ah, yes, sorry, I was conflating with what you were saying with what I was about to finish in my sentence, which is that artisans clearly are the people who make currency. They just forge it all because they're artisans. And I think, I don't forge currency in my workplace. In your workplace. Yeah, yes, exactly. Forging currency it's, is a home of activity. It's a hobby. That's right. I like uh, how Corey... It doesn't, it doesn't make enough money. <laughs> yeah. I like Forgery how Corey... is actually technically always a hobby because it doesn't make you any money. Y you make it money, yeah. I like how Corey specified that you don't live by the ocean, except you totally do. <laughs> oh, in the ocean. Mm -hmm. In the ocean. Hmm. Okay. Oh, why did I put it there? Go for it. Uh, Have fun. Exciting. I love having fun. Alright, who feels like they've played this game enough to know whether they're supposed to put troops on one side or the other of this battle? Right? Like, here I am. I'm being asked uh -huh. to, to either help Matt or Ian win this battle. And whose turn is it? Who started this fight? Uh, Corey. Hello? Yes, my name is Corey. Okay, Corey connected these tiles. So she decided to get this war going in order to take control, probably, of Matt's soldier pagoda. It was going to happen anyways. Was it? This war? Yeah. Yeah, at some point. Oh, yeah. Currently, he's winning, but I'm the first to act. Uh... I'm sorry, no. It looks do you, like Do you want to get involved in a international incident? Sorry, no, it's it's Ian fighting Matt, but Corey started it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well then no. Currently no buildings are being blown up, so I'll just pass, right? Yeah. It's your choice. I still have no idea what's going on with the war. I have no desire to fight here. I did my best to try to elucidate that to everyone else. Okay. I, I also started... won't fight here. So what happened? Okay, that's down. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. Okay, so I didn't did blow up. <laughs> I gotta put a uh, man's down to get points. The other stuff I was up to, no points. You right. actually... Thank you, Corey. You made something easier on me. That's a weird spot to put that. Oh, I guess it's fine, because you're connected. Okay, cool. Yeah. Dece. Highly dece turn, Matt. You made that happen, Corey, and I applaud you for it. Just wait until next time. Just wait until next time, Gadget. Yeah. Yeah, you beat me to it.
Yeah, yeah, I think it's time. To duel? Yeah, to do pause un 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 unrest. No snap. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh, ladies. Yeah, you know what? This is the correct answer. All in. It's just happening. Wow. It's quite a big play. But what else will the horn man do? Good question, Pat. And the answer probably won't surprise you. Because it's disgusting and it's the only thing you're interested in. Oh, wow. That's, you know what? This is going to be mean, but it's happening. Did you just, did you already refill your hand with a bunch more governors? Is that how that, this works? No, but I'm one. I'm. Mm, dang it. Why'd I get you say no? <laughs> I get a free one. Why'd you say no? <laughs> this is the thing about, like, just trying to chase more revolutions after the first revolution. No, there's no real world counterpart to this. It doesn't actually work. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like if you, like, kicked people out of office and then instead of executing them, let them leave. Mm. That's not how any revolutions work. Uh, oh, there are two. Yes. Um, That's what we call September 20th. Well, Nelly got beat on a bit there, so I'm gonna not do Nelly. Okay. Three pagodas, you say. It's a nice spot you've got there, Matt. It'd be a shame if. <laughs> I just love having those pagodas. Well... Well, well. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what options I have available to me. So, you have if I, so every time you lay down a governor tile, you get into a role if you're like adjacent to another governor tile, right? If it's in if, the same state. Same if it's state. the same state and the same color. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. So you have a yellow one. If you put it down, I guess you couldn't put it down in the north. Like, say I put uh, it here. East. Yeah. There you go. Make a revolt. Yep. Now it's revolting. Uh, pot's ahead by one, and Ian has tied it up. We are two for two. So Ian I get a coin back, but Ian gets to keep his stuff. Was that you or Ian that got the coin? Because Ian I won. Yeah, I'm up to three now. What did you... Uh... No, I have zero. That's fine. Just, like, the animation okay. looked like it was a plus one right next to my little moniker. But maybe it's, like, a top right of your winning tile you get one. So it's, like, on top of mine. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, so that was terrible. Cool. Cool. But um, now you know. Exactly. Exactly. So if you want to do that sort of stuff, you need a bunch of these... Governors. Yeah. Governors. Yep. Or also your governor leader. Right. That's a free one. Which you have. Yeah, no, I used that I used that one, but it yeah. wasn't enough. Um, that's okay. Ian also had a fight that went badly for him, so I don't feel bad. In our in our lifetime duel scenario. Um that's yellow, so it can't be a yellow. That's okay, alright. So there's no way to make these things fight. Because they don't. Okay, I can't. I can't make Ian and Matt fight on the bottom left here, because they just aren't in the same uh, colors. Because of the last war and how that went, because Ian lost, exactly. so his yeah. got pumped off. But you could cause other wars if you so chose. Yeah. I can make Matt and Corey fight. Doesn't feel as good, but that doesn't feel good at all. Yeah. But at least it's... I don't even know how you'd do it. 
it's fighting. Well, I figured out how to do it, but I don't know that it actually advance like helps me. Uh, sorry, team. Uh, my turn's being <laughs> slow for the first time. I just don't actually know what uh, well, move helps Nelly, me. Does anyone, does anyone know what move helps me here? I just made a move that was terrible. Nelly, just just do what feels good. Okay. What's your lowest uh, point total? Yeah. That should be your goal. Green. Uh. Uh. Okay. You told me to do what feels good. That is and true. There, and there was an animation on this square. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Well, Ian. What you feeling, Ian? Other Poor than innocent segment. quarry is being picked on here, but you're also in this fight. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I'm gonna lose things either way. So really, I'm just I'm just dropping out. But you could lose all your um, governors or not. I mean, the, here, here's the thing: I already have enough red, so I can probably drop that without too much of an issue. Okay, but you are leaving me out to dry. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, he doesn't have any responsibility. He didn't start this. I mean... What have you, or could you do for me lately? Um, I could... Um... Um... Nothing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay. Chaos. Yep. Wow. The so states much. have separated. So much room for activities. Look at all that free buildings down there. Mm hmm. It is free real estate. Wow, that is all arrow over there. We are really just kind of in our own little areas. Yeah. I bet you're enjoying it with your pagodas. I mean, Ian, like, has infiltrated my area, so I don't have my own area, for what it's worth. In case anyone's curious, I don't have my own area. Others have encroached upon my area. Yeah. Ian has been encro encroached upon. I mean, Ian, you, you had a place, it got blown up a bit. But before that, you had dived into my place after I rebuilt it. Yeah. You sure you're not a croacher, Ian? Ian's, Absolutely. Ian's currently profiting, profiting off of buildings that I built. And that's colonialism. I, oh, wait. I can't. Okay, how do I do this? How do I actually make this work? Are you, are you asking the room? Because you'll have to be more specific. Uh, are you dropping <laughs> I, a fishman on a thing? How do I use fishmans to, to make mm -hmm. a revolt? I don't know. You, you, you drag them over top of the thing that you want to revolt, right? Okay. That doesn't work. Because I think they break down a pagoda, right? If you click on the pagoda... Need... Clicking the, the tile. Little, did you see the little, the yeah. little mm -hmm. fire mm -hmm. thing? Click the tile. Yeah, that's, not, that's not what I want. Uh, okay. Peasants right one four time. Because that is what the peasants right is, is breaking yeah. the Dakota. Yeah, I thought it was something different. If you're thinking of a revolt, that's um The leader conflict. Stuff. Yes. Which yeah. doesn't use your blue man group. Yes. But it does use black tiles. Yeah, there's not much for me to do. So... Let's ruin someone's day? Fun. This is just an experiment. Okay, yeah, no, that didn't work at all. You so. gave me a free fish, man. Yeah, yeah, I noticed. <laughs> you can undo. Paws are so wet. Let's do that then. Your fishman. Uh, mm -hmm. 
You could put down your blue uh, leader there to fight if you mm -hmm. wanted to. I don't think I'd win, though. That's the problem. Mm. Like this, 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 this here lies the issue. It's like, what do you do that is progressive for yourself or regressive for others? <laughs> the two options. That's pretty much it. Oh, I don't even... Well, I mean, let's... That's where I found myself last turn, certainly. I was like, I don't know how to progress my own porridge. So I'll just start a random war. Christ. And even that's not even is that, a viable option right now. Is that now. how you lead states? I, I think so. That's weird. what I've seen people do. So weird and sad. Another blue going up? Yeah. My blue! I figured there were enough... Uh, enough spaces sitting there for, for me to use. I can't believe you've done this. Uh, well, if one breaks down, I'll just build another. Oh! We exchanged. My house! Your house! Tough but fair. How are you feeling right now? A revolt for yellows. That's a lot of governors. There's a lot of governors. I love government. Uh, <clears throat> uh -huh. Really? Oh, so many governors. <laughs> This is it's a like lot in, of governors. This is like in Paw Patrol when there's just like suddenly a lot of mayors on camera. It time. is it's exactly like, like Paw Patrol. This like why are there exactly so many like mayors? Why so is much of this a mayor? is like Paw Patrol. Yeah. I I wanted to make it relatable for the other comments <laughs> in, the, in the chat. <laughs> um Okay, so at some point God, there's no way I know how many bonus points Ian has to like crush me with here, but I'd really love to be able to play my black Lear guy at some point. Well, there you are can just put that places. anywhere. Just put it anywhere. I know I can put it anywhere, but I don't want to put it just anywhere. Whoa. Don't don't leave me okay, alright. Goodbye, sweet dog. I understand you're tired of it. Dog. Um How many towels left? Thirty seven? Okay, okay, this one. Uh, that didn't help, and things are bad. But you're having fun. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Hmm. Uh... Oh. Big boy. Coming in. <sighs> oh, that was the wrong spot to put that. I'd like to back up. That seemed like a pretty good spot to put that. <laughs> Um, I'd give it to you if we could, but I don't see a way to roll it back, so... So instead, you could destroy it, Ian, and then he could put it where he wanted. Thanks, Matt. Really appreciate you as a force for good in this game. I'm just offering solutions. May I recommend installing an air conditioning unit in your apartment? Highly, highly good advice. That's a real solution that's actually helpful. I have one. It's small, and um, because my windows are bad um, in terms of how they're framed. Duct tape. It's beautiful. I'm sorry, my sweet goat plant. <laughs> I want for your air to be cool. I don't want to you know what? Yeah, I do want to start a war. I don't give it. <laughs> a war has begun. It's anymore. Between um, horns and Holes. Pots. We got some pots and we got some bowls. Well, either way, it's going to end in tears. You brought an army with you to start this war with, right, Ian? I feel pretty bullied already this game, in case anyone's wondering. You no, do? no one was wondering. None of my projects have really worked out except my very, very first turn of the game. I, I, I think I, you've been doing pretty good there. You have green. It's been there for I a long time. I 100% feel you on that. Okay. Like, what must your blue be at by now? 
Do you want to know? Yeah. It's, it's supposed to be secret, but like it's annoying that it's secret because everyone could just be keeping track of it. My blue is at 13, but that's not my lowest score. <laughs> no. Sus. Mine's at five. Your lowest score? No, that's my blue. Oh, blue. My lowest. Which is score. not my lowest score. My lowest score is five, but I have zero gold. The gold so. only boosts your lowest score. So. Yeah, so I'm, I'm I'm like letting you know that my hard lowest score is five. So you have five points right now. Yeah, I have five points, and I can't currently get to six. So that's my I, sh situation. I should work harder and do better then. I don't know. It's like if you have any gold at all, you probably are in a better situation than I am in this game. Mm. I just haven't. Not I haven't drawn really. any gold cards. Not oh. necessarily. <laughs> Soldiers, you say. Um, to the war, you say? Yeah. <laughs> the war. Ah, uh, yes. I have heard of this. Sure, I will. What? Highlight the way. Okay, there we are. I'll cycle some uh, cards. Some soldier boy up in it. Yo! Why me roll? I appreciate your addition to the cause, Matt. Let's watch Ian crank it. See, that. Deeply and <laughs> great. See, Ian, that's what I could offer you. And yet you thought I couldn't do it. Just need to make sure I'm putting my own tokens where they need to go. Ooh, even. Oh, snap. Oh, I thought Here you already go. added yours. Nope, I was the last person to do so. Pretty good for you. You kept your blue. Yeah. All right. I'm going to try something I've never seen before. How revolutionary. Not in the history of tile placing. Have I ever seen this done? The end. Uh. A line. How could it be? Random trivia, I didn't say no cranking it on stream. I said no cranking it in the dining room, and the dining room's behind me. So, we can see that Ian is not in the dining room. <laughs> uh, oops. Shocking no one, a revolt takes place. <laughs> yeah, you kind of did something that got in my way of my ideas, so... In the way of your ideas? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I see how it is. I'm a man of ideas, you see. An ideas man, you might say. Oh, I have another action remaining. Uh... <sighs> the game just to the sea. <laughs> Don't like that. <clears throat> It's just uh. <sighs> okay. I'm at the sweet part in this game where I'm starting to understand what the right moves are. Oh, it lovely. frustrates <laughs> me that I can't take them. So here we we've seen it. It's it's been a good it's been a good learning curve. Um, can you at least take Matt out with you? No, that's not how this game works. You can't really I'm just, taken. You can't already. destroy someone else. You can only destroy yourself. <laughs> um, I feel like this is the most just stupid plan. The jug is revolting. It's the battle of the century. As far as stupid plans go, this is the one that feels <laughs> the most uh, appropriate. Oh, wait, yes. Yes! Sicko's window. <laughs> I was just gonna say, you are the sickos. 
And oh. you've won the revolt. Cards in hand. Yeah. There was no way that was going to go any other way, right? Well, you didn't know how many cards in hand he had. Mm -hmm. Another! <laughs> Anyway, the sicko's <laughs> lost. <laughs> he just... That's fine. I'm fine with that. This is fine. Everything is fine. We're all fine here. How are you? You got that yeah. big gold tower. Crikey. He has a blue tile in hand. And a black, I think. I can't uh -huh. yeah, I can't always I tell, tell the, what people what are getting was. from the pool. Uh, yep. Uh -oh. and big red. Big red. Coming through. <gasps> I miss no, that's bad. <clears throat> Peas and Sriot. Wanted to. Was that no. bad? Yeah, that's not what I. It says, as far as I know, you can click on the middle of three tiles to, to grow a pagoda, but you need maybe you to... can't do that. Do I have to kill one first? No, you need two trader tiles, and then you eat, spend them in order to do that. Yeah, so I can only, I can only blow stuff up at this point. Alright. It's fine. <gasps> My pagoda! <laughs> Establishment. Mm. My turn now. Um, as I was... Uh, choreographing a bit there, Ian. Um, I was working towards doing this. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Uh... No, we all have the same goals here. Yeah, and they're disgusting. Um... Turns out. And a blue. Politics is nasty! We're almost there. Who's to say people are gonna be disposed? Uh, dispossessed. This feels bad, but deposed. I think it's what I have to do if I want to like fight on the axis that I need to to win the game. Wow. Feeling, feeling a little blue there, Nelly. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Um, let's go here or here. Okay. The second one. Um, is there a third door? No, no, this is probably right. Are you just hoping for a goat, Matt? <laughs> oh, snap. So why are, why are you doing this? Oh, I don't know. I thought when you like charge in, you start with two instead of one, because that was that's what happened before. <laughs> I'm not like sure. why why did I have why did I start with two when I went up against Ian in the top left? You had I had what your leader and what? stuff. Your leader and stuff. I don't understand. I really don't. Like I <laughs> didn't. I like just put my leader down there. In, I don't know. In, in this in the same. Way I put my leader up to the top left. Something to do with advanced play. Ching, ching. The I really, I, re is, I really the, don't the, know. The black leader. The black leader is a bonus for revolts. Mm. Okay, okay, but the gold. All the other leaders aren't. Yeah. If you start a revolt with all the other leaders, so and so, why did you have two to begin with instead of one? Because I had one to begin with the revolt. Might be the pagoda. Okay, so maybe I should have done the other side. Fair enough, fair enough. That is 
a large state in the middle there now. Somehow there wasn't a war. Well, I don't have a blue leader on that pagoda. Like, I haven't still been collecting. Well, you don't have a blue. You also don't have a green or yellow. Yeah, there you go. So this is all very good for Ian this turn. And, uh, yeah. He's shooting up to first place. Probably. Mm. I don't think so, but we'll find out. Okay, so the mechanics of this game are excellent. And I still just hate that the score is hidden. <laughs> like, I don't get it. I don't understand how the score being hidden in this mm -hmm. game makes the game better. There might be a house rule if you're playing in person um, to have scores be transparent, depending on how you want to play. Sure, I mean, yeah, you could have house rules like that. I just don't know why it's not, like, the regular rule, too. It's right out on the table. Yeah. Because, like, say you wanted to play this game competitively. Mm -hmm. You're able to watch everyone else's turn and you're able to track their scores. Yeah. It might just be, like, one of those get good ideas from the developers. It's like, oh, yeah. So no, that's what they you. want from us? Yeah, fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Okay. To which I say, fee. <laughs> so, Corey, you have both of the uh, trader pagodas? Who? Huh? What? Huh? Wait. Uh... All I'm saying is. Not anymore. Ah! Uh, Not on my watch. Right, my okay. babies! There were babies in that building. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was my baby storage backup pagoda. <laughs> Murderer. Now we don't have housing for all these babies. Oh no, the babies. Wait. I, I cannot forgive you, Matt. Cannot. You simply cannot believe that I've done that. It's... Homeless babies. Ugh. They're a burden on the state. And you're part of this state, too, so you're partly responsible anyways. Only partly. It does take a village. Okay, so... There's that... We're down to four tiles. This might be... Well, this is your last turn. Oh yeah, for sure it's my last turn. That's fine. Uh, might be the last turn, even. If you're emptying your hand, yeah. Right. Hmm. Kusunoki's yeah. dropped some hearsay in the chat. Saying Kinesia playtested open info. It created information overload and massive analysis paralysis. Hmm. Which makes sense to me. That does, you'd, yeah. you'd be, like, trying to balance everyone's numbers constantly in your head. But I mean, that's what that's what everyone's trying to do anyway, without the information. Mm, no, I'm just trying to optimize my own score well. Oh, yeah. I'm trying yeah. to keep aware of how long pagodas have been around. Yeah, Ian, you... Um, empty here. Ian, you overestimate how smart I am at that math. <laughs> Wait, you Are you like a three or a four? Like, what? what I, Cause I'm like a negative one on math. I'm just saying that I'm a dumbass, so. So you're a two. I guess. I, I aspire to be a himbo, but right now I'm just a dumbass. <laughs> uh, the scale's out of a hundred, so. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very low. Okay, after playing this game for three hours, I made, a, I made a play on my turn that I feel like is obviously bad, but I still don't know what my right play was supposed to be. <laughs> So there we have it. Uh, yeah. I've had fun. It's been a good game, but also I'm confused. The game isn't over yet. Well, there's one. There's, a, there's one there's, card there's left. A, the still a war, war to do. I don't. I don't think I'm going to have another choice to make. <laughs> Is Ian going to do war? Yeah, I'm going to see if I can get some some points out of this. War? You That's say. allowed. Yeah, you're allowed to have a. You turn. know, I start with three. <laughs> I think you contribute first. Nope. Coriander Corey. does. Oh, good. But what if I want these tiles for myself? Uh, you're not otherwise involved, so... <laughs> yeah, you're welcome to keep them. Oh. Me? Okay. 
I'll do that then. What what are you feeling, Nelly? This is the final choice in your game. Oh, uh, I don't care. What? How do you want me to do it? You, you, have you got uh, three soldiers? I do have three soldiers. Put them in. Fry them up. Lovely. Send Great. them to battle. Let's see how this work. This turns out. I thought my hand was stacked in my favor here. It was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that was that was a fantastic defense defensive hand for this. But oh, you. My people, my pagoders. Oh, that was exactly what I needed. <laughs> the the sweet smell of burning pagoda. Well, j just to balance out some of the scores. I, okay, I don't so... think that actually impacted my score very much. Well, it's the end of the game, right? So it's like, <laughs> you, you keep your score you already got. Yeah. But it's a pride thing. I mean, if you, if you keep complaining, we'll take your score away. Yeah, we'll just put this... Uh... Again, I'm a dumbass. I don't care about numbers. Wait a second. I just like how the pagoda splits into three and then the three explode. It's like, oh, but, oh. Oh, I got. There we go. Uh, How'd we do? I am, I am an pirate. Apply monies. Congratulations for being a pirate. Apply oh! Money. Matt wins again. Off by one. All right. It was almost a three way tie again, but I was just. Almost. Dang. Wait, why you win? I have higher second score. Oh, it's like average. Maybe. No, I think I think it's like you have a nine, then we both have a Gold. ten, then you have another ten, and I have a nine. I think it like keeps going lowest, lowest, lowest. So I have a nine before you have a ten. That's my guess, anyway, because well, I have I a seven. Because I have a seventeen. You have a ton of food. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. we have a Neat. lot of fun here on crossing the streams, but it's time to <laughs> take care of some serious matters, like the subs. Do it. Serious subs. Serious you have a submarine subs. problem? You want to take us in, Ian? <laughs> Absolutely. Take the sub in. <laughs> Run silent and deep. There. On death screen. If we're running them on screen. Crazy item. Yes, we are. Oh, well, I, you know what? It's right off the top. And, uh, you know, I, I, I am a secretary bird at heart. So I'm going to say hi to the 62 MG Cobra for 33 months. Thank you. Basil Hunter for 55 months of support. Thank you for watching our stream tonight. War! Thank you, Demon Fire. And the lovely new viewer, Violet Sonata, thank you for joining us on this lovely night. And of course, a big thank you to everyone for those 750 bits to Corflux, Ben Rail, and Pharaoh Bender, the bits, the bits, the bits. bits. Have you <sighs> got what's coming up here, Paul? Yeah. I do. Coming up uh tomorrow lrrmtg it is the uh release of midnight hunt so presumably that's what's going to be being played new magic cards yay new magic cards who dis uh and then ian's gonna melt some cheese <laughs> mm -hmm. quick round table if you could have a uh, cheese that is like american cheese that melts like american cheese but tastes like any other cheese what would you go with nelson camembert Mm -hmm. Corey? Uh, get me that champagne cheddar. Ooh. Champagne Matt. cheddar. I, I don't know super tons about cheese, but I'll say brie. Okay. <laughs> These are good oh, answers. Man. These all seem like great ideas. I'm a big fan of cheese in all its many forms. <laughs> well, I'm going to be two, going with two melted cheese products that we're going to be manufacturing on stream. One of them oh. will be a blue cheese uh, sharp cheddar mixture, which will be made into sheet melting form. The other we'll leave as a uh, mystery for tomorrow. Tune in at uh, <gasps> Mystery ooh. Cheese. An exercise Fun. for the yeah, viewers. Yes, that's it. <laughs> mystery late cheese. night Thursday cheeses with me. Mm. Mm. Uh, and on Friday, Ian and Heather are going to celebrate regular crispy day. I have no That's idea right. what that, what, what does that celebrate? What are the traditional regular crispy day in cel celebration? Perhaps cheese? 
it, it's it's well known for well matt uh, yeah you could if you uh if you put it in the oven and did some of those uh crispy cheese bits the point of it is to have a moderate uh, uh an acceptable amount of crispiness nothing extra nothing uh, nothing over the top just a good amount of crispiness that we can all enjoy just the middle way of crispiness what? yeah uh, is is Friday, September seventeenth, particularly significant uh, in the regular crispy calendar? Well, it is the it is regular crispy day, and it has been at least observed that, uh, as that day for two years in a row now. Three, perhaps, if we uh, if regular we talk crispy about day. non-stream years. Regular this channel's a weird observed. place. Uh, well, that's going on at noon tomorrow or on Friday, uh, followed by Checkpoint Plus at two o'clock where myself and beige and heather will be talking about video game news and then on friday night paper fight uh folks are going to be playing historic brawl uh mm-hmm. on magic arena should be arena cool. commander featuring can we announce our guest yeah yeah we've got olivia gobert hicks joining yeah. us our good friend olivia from the hey. commander world it's gonna be great S- sliding yeah. in for some arena commander with us i'm stoked and you're doing it on Arena, so you can actually, like, play real decks. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but sure. <laughs> like, you can't do, like, a lot of the control stuff or whatever on the remote paper. Oh, we can steal each other's cards. You That's can steal what you each mean. other's cards. Yes. Yeah. Real decks. And we real. should. Good idea. Good point. Uh, Good point. And then on Saturday, uh, Ben Wheeler is continuing on with his Play It Forward of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Uh, More Pagoda content. Still only has died... he had his first death yet? I think he has that? died once. <laughs> yeah, he's died a few times okay. now. Okay, <laughs> he's allowed to die twice. He may have died once already. Yeah. Uh, and that will also happen on Sunday, Saturday and Sunday, both playing the uh, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Rhythm Cafe, Wonder Song. I could have sworn we had the last Wonder Song stream like three times so far. Me too, Paul. <laughs> Me too. So I mean, this 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 is quite clearly going to be the last Wonder Song uh, episode. Got some. Except uh, that I haven't heard back from Heather as to whether or not it will be. So we don't know. It's the third last. So. Man. Got some uh, Death Stranding vibes going on here. How many? How many? How much past the ending credits are? Is there? How many last episodes can we have? Will there be a giant woman? And has there ever been another way to tie Wander Song and Death Stranding together? <laughs> I mean, there's Wandering and Death Stranding. Uh, Touche. And then uh, on Is This Your Card, uh, Wheeler is going to be uh, looking at the Pokemon TCG. A classic. Yeah. Uh, and then on Monday... Can't Draw Horses Club. Uh, Corey with... Do you know who your guest is going to be? No. Corey with a <laughs> well, surprise guest. Yes. It with could regular... be. Nobody. Ooh. Yo, a or regular me... crispy guest. What if it's a horse? And you'd just be like, you can't do self-portraits. Well, I would definitely not tell you if it was a horse. <laughs> <laughs> it's it Can't Draw Horses Club without punctuation, not Can't Draw, comma, Horses Club. <laughs> Uh, and then a nice friends, uh, Ian Beige and, or, uh, Adam Beige and myself <laughs> are, uh, going to be finishing up Night of the Living Dead. Uh, I would say if it kills us, but we are already dead <laughs> because Who's ready we started the game Who's undead. Uh, we, ha- it's, we're going to finish it. We're going to, we're going to end the, cause you can, you know finish up the be like yes i have accomplished all the stuff i'm gonna fight the big boss man (laughs) technically we sort of won last week in the sense that we uh met orcas and uh uh, turned in our boss that was doing bad stuff and orcas was like yeah that's cool um you can be the you can you know rule uh over my uh armies if you want we're like sure cool and so that's that, but I don't think that was like the good ending. <laughs> you want to be a good knight? Yeah, I guess we were like a paladin before we were undead. So ruling over the armies of the uh, 
undead are probably is probably not what we wanted to do, but it seemed like kind of a cool way of going out. Anyway, you'll have to tune in to find out how that ends. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's going on dice friends, and then of course, uh, Tuesday we are back to James Uno and Serge doing nine o'clock. Uh, Cameron and Corey, what you looking at on Talking Sim? You know, I don't know. <laughs> Cameron and Corey looking at a surprise game on Talking Simulator. Uh, and Ben Adam looking at something on Let's Know. We are clearly past the point where the uh, schedule has been updated. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thanks everybody for watching. Tune uh, in. There will be more streams. There will be streams of many types that will be extremely entertaining. The streaming will continue until the pensions are paid for here on Loading Ready Run. Uh, <laughs> That's our motto. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye.